have 10 tips for you if you're using Tableau. Hopefully some of these will save you time or frustration down the road. I'll see you inside. First and foremost is shortcuts. There are three shortcuts that I use a lot that I, I feel helps my, my workflow. The first one is right-click drag. Right-click drag allows us to open the drop field window and it allows us to specify exactly what you want to drop on your canvas. So for example, if we want to know the number of events a speaker participated in in this, in this example, and if you take a look at the measures, there's actually no such thing as number of events. So this is something that you need to derive from one of your dimensions. We have to count the events. But the problem is if we simply drag the events over, it's simply going to display each value. But what we want is to really count it. So instead of going to the drop down and then changing this to a measure, the shortcut is to actually use right click drag. So how would we do that? So for example, we wanted to get our main speaker and notice as you drag it over, it actually gives you a warning. It tells you, um, are you really sure you want to add this many values on your screen? Um, definitely something to consider, but probably for a different video. So for now, we're just going to add all members. And to have the number of, of events, we can simply right-click drag event into your shelf. In this case, it's going to be in the column shelf. So in the column shelf, it opens up this drop field window and Tableau will ask us exactly how you want to drop this field on screen. Is it individual values? Is it an aggregate, minimum, maximum, account? Um, and again, it is just a time saver. So instead of three steps, one step, you're there, you're displaying exactly what you want. The second shortcut is actually control drag. So control drag allows you to copy a pill that's already on your screen. So in this case, if I wanted to get count distinct of event again, instead of right click dragging it onto the columns or recreating my formula, what I can simply do is press control and then drag it over, drag it over, drag it over. There are going to be reasons for us to copy pills over, maybe to the same shelf, to a different shelf, maybe in one of your marks cards. Um, but this is a quick way to copy a pill. The third one is specific to text tables that display multiple measures. When I need to create text tables that have multiple measures, I find it's easier to just drag your dimension over first and then double click on all the measures that you want to display on that text table. So for example, in this case, I can double click on comments, which is number of comments. I can double click on duration. I can double click on languages or the number of languages that this has been translated to. Um, but this is an easy way for me to create that text table. The second one is about the sidebar. I teach this course in a few different places and I find that this frazzles students a lot. When the sidebar goes missing, the stress levels go high. So where does a sidebar go and how do you get it back? Your sidebar is this area on your screen on the left-hand side of your canvas. That's your sidebar. Sometimes students will accidentally click on this icon on your sidebar and the sidebar disappears. So how do you get it back? It is very stressful because you can't simply click on undo because it doesn't bring the sidebar back. So two different ways you can get the sidebar back. The sidebar actually moved down. It was minimized. So your sidebar, is actually now minimized in the bottom area of your screen. The bottom left area of your screen is right there. All you need to do is simply click on that icon again. Another way, so let's just prove that it works right here. There you go, let's minimize it again. Another way to get it back is under window and there is this option for show sidebar. The third thing that can be confusing when you're starting out with Tableau is figuring out how to connect to different kinds of files. For example, in here, we have Excel file, we have a PDF file, you have a JSON file, you have a CSV file. And in reality, you're gonna have to choose exactly what that file type is against the drivers that are available in Tableau. 
But the easiest way to connect to those files is to simply drag them over to Tableau Desktop and Tableau Desktop will figure out what that connection is. But please note that this is only available if you are connecting to a local file or connecting to a file. Did you know that you can connect to a data source that is in another workbook? You can create a new data source, go to more, navigate to that workbook, and Tableau will show you all of the data sources that you can connect to that that workbook is attached to. Next one is copying and pasting data. You can copy and paste data to Tableau and from Tableau. For example, you have some data that you simply just want to quickly visualize. It's not something that you're going to maintain, but right now you just want to see what it looks like. Simply copy that data from Excel, press Control C, go to Tableau, press Control V, or go to this data menu and select that second option for paste. This is great for quick analysis, for quick investigation, but not necessarily a long-term um, solution because notice in here that Tableau actually puts this in the clipboard. So this data in the clipboard that can go away anytime um, your computer needs more memory or when you restart your machine. You can also copy worksheets or views from workbook to workbook. So when you right click on that sheet, copy, go to another workbook and simply paste. It actually brings over not just the view, and it also brings over the data source or at least the connection to that data source. Ever wonder what the summary is for all those numbers that are in your view? There's a quick way to do that in Tableau. One way to do this is to right click on an empty area, go to summary, and then it will show you the summary card. By default, it will show you count, sum, average, minimum, maximum, and median. But you also have other options when you click on the top right corner where you have that drop down um, arrow. And you can also add standard deviation, first quartile, and all these options that you can see on screen. Has this ever happened to you? Has anybody given you a workbook and told you, hey, this is yours, it's your problem now, try to figure it out, try to troubleshoot it, or to start? I would recommend start with describing that worksheet. You can find the describe worksheet from the worksheet menu at the top, and there's a describe sheet option fourth from the bottom, or press control E. What this is, is generally a documentation of how this current view you're looking at has been composed. So it tells you what's in the marks, it tells you um, what the dimensions are. And the good thing about this as well is any of the calculated fields that are used in the sheet, you basically have the formula right here. It's a good way to start a troubleshooting process or a get to know process of your worksheet. Have you ever wondered why sometimes Tableau asks you where you want to save the extract and sometimes it doesn't? Well, it really depends on the type of file that you're working with. If you are working with a TWB file, it's gonna ask you where you wanna save the extract. But if you're working with a TWBX file, it's not gonna ask you because it's going to package that data up with your packaged workbook. Let's take a look. So in this case, let's simply save this workbook as a TWB file. So let's save this as, and in here, just a TWB file. And right now, when we right click on this data source, right click, extract data, this is a TWB file. So our expectation is it's going to ask us where you want to save this um, extract file. However, should we change this file, if we change this to be a packaged workbook, if we save this as a TWBX file, it's actually not going to ask us anymore. So right click, extract data, extract this, no dialog box that's asking us where you want to save it. And if you wanted to know exactly where Tableau has saved this file, you can right-click right on that data source again under Extract Properties, and this should tell you exactly where that extract file is. So sometimes this is in a temp folder. Sometimes it's going to be in the same folder that you've saved the packaged workbook in. 
This next tip is about reshowing hidden labels. And if for anything, I'm probably recording this so that I will remember where it is because I, I don't use it a lot. I don't need it a lot, but every time I need it, I have to really think hard and remember hard how to do it. Anyway, so for example, in this view, you might decide to hide field labels for views and it, it disappears. That label disappears. So how do you get it back? If you are not in the same session where you hid that field, you can't just simply press undo. What you could do is you can go to analysis, table layout, and show field labels for rows. That's where it exists in a very conspicuous place. Show field labels for rows. There you go. My last tip. Did you know that your TWBX file packages all of your local files in that one file? The TWBX file is essentially a compressed file or a zip file. What does that mean? Here is an example TWBX file. I know this is called Twibix2, um, but if you change the extension, if you just simply put a .zip in the end, you can actually extract all of the files that are packaged into this one packaged workbook. So right now, I'm just going to simply extract all those files. And what we can see is it has the TWB file, anything that is in the external cache, and any of the data that you have included in that packaged workbook. If you have any local files for logos or images, they're going to come along as well. That's it. Those are my 10 tips. Hopefully you found something that's new or just interesting. I'll see you next time.